You don't know how fast my heart races each time I see you. I love when I catch you staring at me. You are weird and I love it. Thank you. Your voice is my favorite sound. Every moment we've spent together is awesome. But I promise you, the best is yet to come. I love you, Oledo. I love you, I truly love you. What is it? It's so blood. I have to warn him. I saw blood. I saw blood. So much blood. I saw blood. So much blood. So much blood. I have to warn him. I have to warn him. Hope all this well. She always behaves strangely. How do you mean? Are you new in this community? Maybe she's going for one of these Albanje business. Open why yo? How can you say such a thing about her? Ola is not an Obanje. She just dream and that's all. Then why does she only see bad things which eventually come to pass if she's not an Obanje? I pity the person she's going to feed with this her bad news. Hmm. Anyway, that's not my concern. I just know Ola is not a witch or an Obanji, period. What is it? What is it? This is a serious matter. It's a matter of life and death. Life. Where is your brother? What has life and death got to do with you batting into our compound and screaming? Where is Obina? Come Obina! back here! Will you come back here? Obina! Come, 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 come back here! Where is he? Where? What is it? Obina! Is that with my name? What Obina is copying with my name? What is it? Obina, you intend to go beyond the Ngene River. Please don't go. It's a bad idea. I saw you in a pool of blood. Shut up! Shut up! I didn't know I was going beyond the Ngele River today. But I saw it! So what? Come, I don't care whatever juju or chance we are using. If you don't leave this compound right now. <laughs> Brother, don't, don't believe what I'm committing murder. Come on, I'll commit murder. No, murder. No, no. Get out! Please, you have to warn him. I'm serious, you have to warn him. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Just leave here. But leave her, leave her, leave She's a witch. Get out. I'm no fear. What kind of bad luck is this to Say nonsense! But this one is the, is, is the bad luck to me. Don't mind her! Don't mind her! What is wrong with that no, no, nonsense of a human being? <laughs> Today of all day, I'm thinking of catching big bushmeto for us, brother. You will go and catch big 
bush me that will eat it. Don't, 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 Thank you, bro. Don't, don't mind that. Thank you, bro. bro let no, me, nonsense. Let me start going. Go well, my brother. May the God be with you. I know of ya. Look at how you're shining. Apple, you no longer follow us to fetch firewood. Now wow. We both of you shut those dirty mouths of yours. Who are you referring to as Apple now? You village girls don't have respect to. Why the insult? What's wrong have we done by greeting you? That is your offense. Greeting me wrongly. How can you look at me? How can you look at me? Up now. The next year of our land and refer to me by my name. So we are now mates, right? But Apple, you are not married to me yet. So anything can happen. That is your problem. You are bitter. Bitter souls. Enemies of progress. Listen, let me tell you. When I marry Miligwe, I will make sure I deal with you girls and anyone who crosses my path. For your information, the next time you see me, you say, Greetings, Anaka Miligwe. Rubbish. Rubbish. Who are you? We know you. We know your parents. So because Miriwe indicated interest in marrying you, you now talk to people the way you want. Eh? Get out! I've had enough of this! Get out! Get out too! Jealous souls! Miserable girls! It is not my fault that Miriwe found me worthy to be his wife. Are you beautiful? No. Miserable, useless, idiot village girls. Oh, he came. Ah. Papa, no. Yeah, one. Oh, he's everything. Uh, what of your sister? She's not around. She's your not sister around. is not yet around. Your sister that left very early in the morning is not yet around. What is the meaning of this? Where, where, where in God's name is this, your sister? Uh, but she went to the farm. What is all, what is all this? Even those that went to Iba, I saw them coming back. They are back. They are already back. And the, where, 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 where is she? <laughs> Let it not be what I'm thinking. Let it not be that he has gone out of, uh, with that boy or go somewhere doing anything with that boy. Hey! Uh, Papa, let me get you something to eat. I, I ate something at the uh, council meeting. Uh, what of water to to bait? In a yala. In a yala. I did go in a ubaro. In a lo. I What is wrong with you? Don't ever ask me useless question again. To bait. I I I will not help you. Take you which part? Let them know what I'm thinking.
as an agopoza go bono. Cheerful. I say, can I can I walk on a new course? Can I walk on a corner be walking on a wire? But the dog will not walk down no more. We are from Africa. Up here, pa. I say, no, I'm not about fucking the Jawan. They called me a witch. Because I wanted to help. Sam. Mm? Calm down, okay? Just calm, calm down. What happened? You ran out without saying a word. What did you say this time? I saw Obina the hunter in a pool of blood beyond the Gene River. And he confessed it. He was actually heading there. Instead of him to heed to my advice, he called me a witch and an Omanji. Is it wrong to see danger and warn against it? Omani oh, Cham. I know your intentions were pure. But this is risky. If anything happens to Obina, you will be blamed. Biko, in case of next time, tell me. So we can find 
a better way of passing the message across without making enemies in the process of doing good. <laughs> so this is where you are. And Papa has been looking for you everywhere. Papa is back. How long? When did he come back? He, he's still very early. Now how come he came back early today? Too many questions. Which one do I answer first? Eh? Well, <laughs> one thing I know is that Papa is definitely going to kill you today. Uh, he, came, he came. You're not helping matters, you know. Why? Well, that's true. I know. <laughs> and Papa seems to be very angry over something else. My advice. <laughs> Better start going home now. So that uh, if you're lucky, by the time I return, you might still be alive. As for me, I cannot be in that house with, with that Obatosu. And I'm... Um, came. let's go home together. Come uh, home. Hola. I <laughs> I'm angry, but won't keep it in the arm of the me. You should quit the open go. The snake and the millipede may both crawl on their bellies, but that does not make them brothers. Without the sound of the thunder, people will have little or no fear for the lightning. It's your fault. The gods are angry with you and your son. He committed an abomination and you supported him. Gets lost. Oh, Malaysia. What? Why are you looking at me? Now let's go inside. No. Tell him to excuse us. I want to spend time with you. Ichio Philly, please excuse us. And you. Tell the gods to excuse us too. I was just joking. But I want to spend time with you. Moreover, 
I need some money for my upkeep. You are Punao. Your Panaka needs to look good and sharp. <laughs> Your love for money is out of this world. Eh? Anyway, I'll give you. I'm coming. Why? I want your personal money. I don't want it to look like I'm collecting money from the courts. <laughs> but everything I have comes from the courts. Listen, it doesn't make any difference. Here. I, I know, I know. But just be collecting from the courts directly. Instead, I'll be collecting from you. Unugu, I don't want this one. No problem. Help him. Hope you're happy now. I am very happy. In case you need yams, <laughs> plantain, chicken, goats, I have a lot of them at the backyard. I know. Mm. <laughs> Coming from the farm. So, all later it has gotten to this that you now look at your father, eyeball to eyeball, and you insult your father's intelligence. You now see your father as a fool. You left since morning and you came back with this with a four sticks of firewood. And you're telling me you are coming from the farm, insulting my intelligence. Oledo, I ask you again, where are you coming from? Papa, I'm saying the truth. I went to the farm. He asked he came. Yes, yes. Come on, shut up. Oledo, let me repeat myself again. That boy is a now we never marry you. Not when I am still alive. I forbid you from seeing him. But Papa, what exactly has Ezena done? Why do you hate him so much? You've only transferred the enmity between yourself and his late father to the innocent man. He hasn't done anything to you. Shut up. 
or I shut that your useless mouth up. Papa, I'm sorry. Oledo, come here. Oledo, come here. Closer. You are a child. My own child. And you are still under my roof. Whatever I ask you to do, that you must do. That boy will never marry you. Not while I'm still alive. And my family will have nothing to do with them. If my food is low. No, this is not surprise talking. Me, I, I love you now. I, I love you now. Sister, take it easy now. Take it easy. Come on, get out. Get out of here. Who told him that I went to see Zena? Time is far gone and the seer will see no one else. Come back tomorrow or never. He needs to rest. Please, I've been waiting since morning and we came from a very far distance. Please allow me to see him. My son is dying. He will be of no help if he breaks down. Please leave. I don't want anything to happen to my son. Please allow me to see him. I, I beg you, in the name of the gods, please. It is of no secret that you come to the market with the biggest bunches of plantain. How about two of your biggest bunches? And I'll personally ensure that Miligwe gives you the attention that you deserve. Do you? Yes, do you. I, I just want my son to get well. Good. Do not go back on your words and I will guarantee you full access to Miligwe anytime. Are you sure the plantains will be ready by weekend? Yes, they'll be ready. I, I, I promise I will not disappoint you. Would better to not promise and fail. No, 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 no I won't. Where's the witch? Where is that witch? Where's your banje? Where is she? Where's ah, the who, witch? Who is it? Where's she? Where's, 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 where's your daughter? What is she? Why are you shouting in my compound? And who are you calling witch and whatever? It's Oledo, your daughter. Mind your words. Young man, mind your words. My daughter is not a witch or a wonder or whatever you, you, you call it. But ma, ma, mind your words. I'm asking you, what is the matter? Why don't you ask her yourself? Oledo. What happened? Oh, you're suddenly dumb. You're suddenly dumb. Ichimbakwe. This your daughter came to my place this morning and told my younger brother that she saw him in a pool of blood. Right now, my brother is dead. Ichimbakwe, should I go and find out that this Ifo has a hand in my brother's death? Wherever I call you, you will answer me. Uh, young man, young man, listen to me. I want you to know this. You might see my daughter in any form or whatever. But I want to tell your mumulia. She's my daughter and I know what she can do. 
my daughter cannot hurt a fly. There's not to talk of killing a human being. There's no problem until that time. Until that time. Only. Bema. Can you go, Jim? What happened? What happened? Explain. Explain, I'm, I'm, I'm all ears. I'm all ears. I, I went to their house and warned him against what I saw, but he didn't listen to me. Okay. Oh, the what is your problem? So, so, so you, you, you want to kill me? Did I kill my parents? Why, do, why is it that you want to kill me? Why? So, after all my warnings to you, I'm going to kill what is your problem? Is this everything they tell you that you go and say? Have you seen it? If you give me a woman, I'm going to get a Whatever you bring upon yourself, you will carry it. Igi, GC, Webia, a commander in a fuso. In a fuso, a mehayanya, michianya. The one hayanya, michianya. The night is fast approaching. But the lantern is yet to be lit. It is not the duty of the kerosene to light the lantern, but the matches to spark off the fire that will eventually light the lantern. It it is important to note that the lantern needs both the fire and the kerosene to light. Hmm. So, what is needed to light the lantern that is yet to be provided? Meligwe. Meligwe. The woman he chose to marry, the gods disapprove. But instead of him to do something about it, he pleads with the gods to change their mind and accept her. But I am convinced that the decision of the gods will be more beneficial to the entire people of Umu. Umwako community. Hmm. So, what exactly did the God say about this young woman? Aponawu will bring nothing good to the life of Umeligwe. Rather, she will lead him to error, even against the gods. It will spell doom. Doom? How? That is what he has refused to tell me. I love her pronouns. And I cannot throw away all we share because of mere speculation. Mba. I can't do it. Mele. The girls do not speculate. They don't. They see and know more than we do. In fact, whatever they see, whatever they do, whatever they say, it's true. They don't speculate. Oh no. You speak like a man who does not understand 
the true language of love. You don't understand what I am going through. Listen or no. I am caught in between up and now the woman after my heart. And my love and dedication to the gods. That is my problem. Mini. <laughs> Who told you that I did not understand the language of love? No, who told you that? This thing, let me tell you. I was once young, vibrant, and in love. In fact, those were the good old days when men were boys. And women were won by those who deserved them. Those were the good old days. But I'll tell you something. Age and experience has taught me that the destiny of a man depends mostly on what he does today. Listen, the land of Umomako needs a mouthpiece of the gods. Anya Fulugu is too old. He can no longer perform. Mele, it would be a shame that the gods would choose another person for this position when you are much more qualified than anyone else. Take your destiny in your hands. Take your destiny in your hands. I have spoken. I can't believe it. I can't believe you sat there and listened to that rubbish without doing anything. My love, what do you expect me to say? Defend our love. I expected you to defend our love before those trying to tear us apart. Up now. Up now. These things are not as easy as you think. Baby. Up now. Oh, my little. All I'm. The mystery behind the bats flying upside down and its ability to see far and clear at night is the unique mark that distinguishes it from all other birds. A white egg among brown eggs laid by the same hand doesn't make the, the white egg a bad one but it pleases the gods to differentiate it among others Eguanya suba, neguanya suba, iwo timpu iguale. Come.
I would have seen their power in you. Their manifestation. You are not an Obanji or a witch. Then why do I see bad things and they come to pass? The difference between a white bird and an eagle is that the white bird is beautiful from birth. But the eagle gets more beautiful as it grows. So eventually, the eagle is the king of all birds. You have confused me the more. Mm -hmm. All they do. All I want, your ma. Gold isn't beautiful in its original state. But the painful experience of the furnace that makes it shiny and attractive after all. My father has bluntly refused our union. He said even if I get pregnant for Ezenna, he will not approve of our marriage. Ezenna, on the other hand, has sworn to marry me against all odds. I love these two men. I don't want to lose any of them by obeying either of them. I just wish there is a way out of this whole situation. There is a way out. Serious. Abunam, please tell me if you know. Abunam. How can you suggest such a thing? That's a sacrilege. I just want us to be together. It's not like I'm desperate. But I know you have the power to do this. So why are you hesitating? Please, do this for our love. Hmm? My love, let's not be too fast and spoil something. Listen, listen. Our purest intentions might boomerang into something catastrophic if we do not take it easy. I beg you. Please, let's look for another way to make the gods approve of our love, please. And how long do you think that will be? Not that long. This might take time. But eventually, the gods will approve I love. My love, 
Your father is not helping issues. His stubbornness is uncalled for. My love, I am the only surviving child of my family. I can obviously fend for myself. Why waste time to do the needful and be with the woman I so much love? Maybe I should just come and see him. She never can tell he may have a change of heart. My love, please don't let my father's stubbornness get to you. But he's being unnecessarily difficult. I know. Hmm? You know I don't like it when you're like this. I don't like it when you frown. Please chill. Come. Come. Listen. My father is going to soften up and give his consent. Okay? I got my coroni on a yamelo. I got my coroni on a yamelo. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'm sorry for the other day. I had something to attend to really quick. That's fine. I understand. I'm sorry we barely hang out these days. I've been occupied with a lot of things. <sighs> My brother, he has been under the weather for some time now. He's not responding to treatment. I don't know. They said this typhoid, Marlene. In fact, I don't even know what it is. I'm confused. I don't even know what to do again. He'll be fine. You just have to be strong for him. I am. I can't wait for things to get back to normal. I want him to get well as soon as possible. He will. Just do your best. I have to be on my way now. Destiny is to be in service to the gods as the mouthpiece. But how can I do that without peace of mind? Without Apnaw, what kind of a man will I be? Without being the mouthpiece, 
peace of the gods what again is my peoples in life why is you what why why should a man be made to choose between happiness and living i love upon him so much yet i must fulfill my destiny obeying one would mean losing the other is your what what do i do Oledo Ha Oledo This is the way you live This is your frontal leave And this is the Mpala leave A mixture of the Mpala leave and other herbs cures stomach problems Take them your people need you This is a mixture of Ofrata and Ubrini leaves. I also added some herbs to it. It's very good for malaria and typhoid. Give it to him in small dosage. In few days, he will come around. Thank you so much. Although I don't know when you became a herbalist, but 
I will administer it to him. Sorry for the inconvenience. It's nothing. Follow my instruction. I'll see him in a few days. Thank you. There are many seasons in your day and night. And the night. The night ends the day and also the beginning of another. My night has come. And your day is breaking forth. Umumuako community needs a mouthpiece of the gods. And that function you must perform to the best of your knowledge and power. You must not disappoint. Minigwe. Omo Marco wants you. This is your destiny. And Omo Marco community counts on you. Omo Marco counts on you, Miligwe. You must not disappoint. Okwa na okwa gunye lo wata na kadi elebu ya. Okwa gunye lo wata na ka odi elebu ya. Anya fulugo, anya fugugo, meligwe. Okwa man lebu vi, o man lebu vi. Okwa na okwa gunye lo wata na kadi elebu ya. Anya fulugo, anya fulugo, miligwe, okwa malebugi. The gods of our land, the deed is done. Each year. I decided to come and see you today. And I bring you this. I am asking whichever way I may have wronged you, forgive me. If I've wronged you knowingly and unknowingly, because oh, Paolo, I am deeply sorry. Is it near? Is I've heard you. Mm. You sounded clear. Abram went to Rakata. Yeah, just like what you did is good. Like uh, bringing this drink. Maybe if I drink it, I've accepted your apology and also forgiven you. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Ah, mm. Thank you very much, Ichi. Mm. Thank you very much. What exactly is Ezenla doing in our house? Shoo. All along with Papa. He came to apologize to Papa to forgive him of any wrongdoing. Eh? And he came alone? <laughs> it's like he has a death wish or something. Please relax. He's not that bad. They are men. Let them talk like adults. And the sooner they put their differences behind, the better for everyone. Just relax. It's just the talk. <laughs> mm. From the look of things, everything is not all right. This one is very fresh. Uh, 
very fresh. So you think that this is just the beginning? Look at you. You think you can walk into my compound with this sicky bow and this soured wine? To, 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 to turn my brain upside down? Are you out of your mind? Huh? Shit. Shit, please. What is my offense other than loving your daughter? Eh? Papa, I, 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 please. I, I love your daughter, please. That's why I'm here. Papa, please. Dare you! Papa, please, Don't let him ask me, please. Please, or what? If not for your stupidity, this damn year will not come to my house to insult me with all this. Papa, please. And you are still getting close to my daughter. You are still getting close to my daughter. Kneeling down, getting close to my daughter. You don't know the game you're playing. Get out of my compound. Papa, please. Papa. Iche, Iche, please. Iche, please. Iche, please. I, I love your daughter. Oh, I love her. So you have the guts. To hold my legs. I am so rich, yeah. You have the god! Yeah, please. Don't worry. Yeah. No, yeah, please, I, I I want your blessing. I, I love your daughter so much. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was busy calling you all sort of names. I didn't believe them because you were special. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. I don't give them the attention they crave. How is your brother? That is what I'm telling you. My brother is now strong and well. He even followed me to the farm today against my advice. Ola, I have you to thank. You are indeed a healer. Thank you. I did not do anything special. I'm glad the herbs worked. But please tell your brother, he needs to rest and finish the herbs before he starts any strenuous job. Hmm. My brother is stubborn. But I will try my best. I can't still thank you enough for what you did. 
In fact, I will broadcast it to everyone in this village. You are a great healer. Thank you. I don't want problems. I did not do anything beyond the ordinary. You know you're too humble, but you see this time, it will not work. I will broadcast it. Oh, hell, Ole, the great healer of Umuamako. She is my friend. Hey, thank you. Saints, Miligre. Beautiful. Charming. Elegant. Radiating beauty of Omo Muako. Turning the heads and hearts of men. You're welcome. I thought you would not come. Who'd reject an invitation by Mini Gray, the most elegant of all men in Omo Muako? Thank you. Come with me. Ezena. Eze. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. He came. My father wants to see you. Why? Does he want to finish what he started? I am as surprised as you are. Why don't you go and see him and find out? Do I need to come with a witness? <laughs> Just in case he decides to kill me this time. Uh, if my father wants to kill you, I doubt if he will get me involved. What then? Wanting must kill a man, and you know, we've always wanted an opportunity to die for love. This is it. Hmm? Kim, can you just be serious for once? All right. I think he wants to talk, you know, kind of reconcile. Just give him a try. Come by in the evening. All right then. I will be on my way. <laughs> but remember, one tip was kill him out. <laughs> one tip.
पीछे यू हैव बीन क्वाइट सिंस आई केम होप ऑल इज वेल even on our best days our purest of intentions can be opposed by the gods and our human effort to avert this fate will amount to fight in the gods <laughs> and no one fights the gods and win the battle Mbakwe Your daughter and Ezena is a match made by the gods You can fight them But just pray Pray that the gods do not fight you They are happy together and trying to fight against your love Will shorten your life span. Let them be. Only then will you overcome your greatest fear. But I swore over my dead body will my daughter or oh, any member of my family. get involved with them not after all their father did to me ichemba kwe nde mara na afi nyoli nyoli mana nde mo na afi mili mi amaka mi fe na anya nde madu bo onye ibeli be na anya nde mo maka no bro nka te je bu aja madu ke je bu aja nde nwo na nwo mba kwe Open the middle of the day, and you can give me about one hour, my Lord God. With your mouth, you place the curse, and with your mouth, you can destroy the curse. I advise you: destroy the curse you made with your mouth to avoid spilling doom. on yourself let the dead oh let the dead go with their issue life is for the living as you must use your galany ezie me and i say we adjo me to put our galany adjum maka no kan madu diko ka lo se maka no yawo lon ka sa lo se alu se wo lon ka menyo ya anya oke cha la go mbara cha la go maka ni vago jemile Dear Nambaka, I want to cut the pia you know. He came. Hmm? Why? Why did Papa invite us here now? <laughs> Maybe to finally kill you. Shut up. Is he a killer? When is finally killing? Well, before he tries anything stupid, we'll stop him now, right? Right? How? Yes, yes, of course. Hmm? Of course. Come on, now before this. Something see. must kill a man. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Oledo. Oledo Oledo On the demand of the gods I consent.
to your union. Papa, thank you. Thank you, Che. Thank you very much. As in, you can, you can now come with your people. Thank you so much. Water is ready, and you can come and take your bed now. Or is there anything else I can help? Get out! I said, get out! Get out! Oh, oh Malicha. What is it? It's not that stupid attendant of yours. Disturbing my life for no reason. You do oh, sorry, sorry, please. Overlook him. But is that why you look this furious? Oh, no. There's more to this. What is it? Nothing. I'm fine. <sighs> okay, when up on now. Up on You can be crying and say all is well. My love. My wife. What bothers you? Talk to me, please. Why are you crying? Saw it. You you saw what? I saw it today. What did you see? I saw my flow. Get out! Get out! Hey! 
An indelible curse on you. Hey! Oh, we should leave. What the fuck I never... Get out! What is happening? Oh, I just oh, realized oh, that I can neither hear from the gods. Eye of the gods. Eye of the gods. Some people are here to see you. <laughs> Tell them I am not in the mood to see anyone. Okay. Or see anything. What could be the possible cause of this terrible condition? This is confusing. And in my confusion, I have refused to see anyone as I continue to inquire from the gods. But they have been very silent on me. I want to see the mouthpiece of the god. Doesn't want to see anybody. I'm sorry. That is what we keep hearing. He doesn't want to see anybody. He doesn't want to see anybody. But go in there and tell him that I don't know of whom I have kingdom. That I'm here to see him and I must see him. Zanumu, as what? You think you can come here and order my husband around? Because you want to see me, Ligwe. That is why you are shouting and disturbing the peace of this house. Before I close and open my eyes, get out. You are ordering me out of this place? You are still here. Mokwe, you are still here. No problem. Me don't know what from my kingdom. Mwa! Eh? Stay! 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 I am making something special for you. Look at your eyes. <laughs> All right, sorry. Oh. You don't want me to sit there? No, sit here. Okay. Because of the smoke. <laughs> oh. You know I have to treat you like a queen. Mm. That you are. I want small meat. Moment, I will not give you longer, longer. Ah, yeah, don't worry, let me get you small. Don't worry, I won't eat again. Why now? Is it because I called you longer, longer? I said I don't want to eat again. Now. I so, said, Give me, you say you're making something for me. I said, Okay, give me small meat. You're calling me long trips. Oh, Bim. Oh, Mali child. I said, I will not eat again. Don't try to. I did not mm -mm. Eat. Don't worry. I'll give you one. 
What is it? My stomach. So okay. Mm. What is it now? Mm. Eh? Ah. Kobe, what is My it? Stomach. Your stomach. Oh, sorry, you be. Kobe. Mm. Kobe. Okay, okay. Mm. It's, 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 okay. okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on here. Hold on here. Hold on. Stand up. Oh my God, stand. You stand up. Stand up. Now stand, please. Just, just, just. Ah, ah, remove your hand. Please, please now. Yeah? Just, just, just manage. Oh, no, no. Manage. Apunam. Is it nice here to see me live? Why? He said his wife, Oliedo, is very sick. And he needs Millie's attention. Mm -hmm. You tell him that I, Apunau, said he must bring a big fowl before Millie will attend to him. Big fowl? Ezenna! Ezenna! He has gone. He has gone. Uh, Ichi, I have taken her to the hospital. The pain she's experiencing is too much. And the medications are not even working effectively. Ezen, have you taken my daughter to Miliwe? I, I, I mean, what? If this thing happens when you are not around, what becomes of my daughter? I have taken her to see Miliwe. But on those two occasions, I was told he was not in the mood to see anybody. Have you seen it? You are capable. I can take care of your daughter. I am able. I am a man. Full man. Osugo. No, Osugo. Have you seen it? This is the time. This is the time. The hour. Ezenna. Ezenna. Whatever. However. Do something. Even if it means sleeping in Emily West's house. Do it. Yes. Drastic. Time, this house, drastic action. And this is the time. Take care of your responsibility. My daughter is your responsibility. Up now. Up now, you know what I have been battling since I lost my powers. And you know how the gods have been dealing with me with this annoying, deafening silence. Yet you still demand things from my people. Ezenna of all people. What do you want me to tell him? Tell him anything. Tell him anything. What is this? I don't even understand what is going on. We don't have meat in this house. And this little one that the gods have decided to bring to us, you want me to reject soon? Mbano! No! Bia! Miligwe! You have to do anything you have to do. You have to do it! Nenu! Your servant is cooking food! Cooking food without meat! Kamu up now! I should come and eat food without meat! No! We have to eat meat today. Maybe not you, but me. So you have to do your best. Do anything you have to do. Because. I'm a girl who 
My daughter has been having serious abdominal pain. Very serious one. Eh? And all the effort, all the effort I've made to, to, to meet Miliwe. Uh, Proof abortive. Eh? To crown it all. He was even shedding tears. He was, he was even shedding blood as he struggles to commune with the gods. Eh? I can't understand. He was shedding blood. As he struggles to come in with the, the gods, I, I don't understand the no. Is it not stupid to have an eye of the gods that cannot see? Can you hear GM? GM, I can feel your pants. Honestly, I really do. But I want to assure you that everything is going to be okay. Let it be okay. Everything will be alright. Yes, let we it be alright. We are looking right. into all these problems. Yes, let it be alright. Because... Uh, Whatever you people should do to do it, let them do it. The people have started talking. Eh? That uh, we have uh, an eye of the gods that is as blind as, as, as a bat. Eh? <laughs> that he, he, he used to cry out blood, struggling to, 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 to commune with the gods. Other no more one thing. So whatever you people want to do, they should do it fast. Eh? It's okay. I've had it. Cool. Hmm? Okay, so let me tell you. It shall be well. Hmm? Hmm? I need to see Miliwe. You will not see him. He does not want to see you. He is resting. Okay. He's resting? Yes. Listen. How long do you think you can hide him from us? Miliwe has a serious problem. And I know that. Which problem? Let me see him. Which problem? Which problem? Nothing is wrong with him. That is how you all go about in this village, spreading stupid rumors about my Miligwe. You better stop it though. Stop it. Listen to me. You can keep living in denial for all I care. It's not my problem. But I know one thing for sure. Words are going around the entire community, the entire kingdom, about how Miligwe sheds Years of blood. We are trying to come in with the gods. Yes. I need to see him to find out what the problem is and know how to help him. But if you stop me, no problem. But two things will happen. One, you and Emilibe will lose your prestige in this community and the entire kingdom. As a matter of fact. Two. The people are already clamoring for a new seer. 
because Miligwe is no longer competent. Yes. So, is he still resting? No, 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 he's not resting. Biko, please, no, no. See him. Please help us. Just sit, oh, let me call him, Biko. Eh? He's not resting. I need to see Anya Fulugo. Obviously, he who started cooking earlier must definitely have older sets of pots. Age and experience are the greatest teacher. The people are already grumbling. They have needs that I need to attend to. The quicker I sort this out, the better for me. Up now. How are you? You've not come to visit me. I have a lot of responsibilities. Responsibilities? Did you not hear of my predicament? now, how can you even demand a foul from my husband just for him to see me? Um, my sister, please. Please don't be offended. You know I would never ask for a foul if we don't need it. But things haven't been going well. Hmm? Please, I'm very sorry. Hmm? Don't be angry. Be cool. Hey, hey. I want to ask you. When you were not married, you used to dream and see things. What is happening? Well... Since I got married, I have not been seeing anything. Even when I see, I will wake up and I will not remember. Hey! That is terrible. Um, anyways, how is your husband? Is he around? No, he went to see Anya Fulugo. Mm. He's not around. Okay. I'll be on my way now. Okay. My regards to him when he comes back. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I'm going bye bye. Okay. Mm. I can you ask for a foul? Great one. As an for Koko Jimilia to the Ampa. That which the mother hen runs after during the day is important to the mother hen. So a thing like this has been happening. And you never bothered to tell me why. What is a python without a venom? What is a gun without the sound of the bullet? What relevant is the fire, the lightning, without the thunder? Great Anya Fulugo, I am sorry, but I thought this is something I could handle. This is beyond your power. Great Anya Fulugo. 
Please help me. What do I do? Have you checked yourself and confirmed that you have not wronged the gods? I have not offended the gods in any way. I have not. Strange and mysterious are the ways of his equator, the God of Justice. Even the offsprings do not understand. You are the mouthpiece of the gods. Plead for mercy. Maybe your inner eye shall be restored. Mercy. Great Anna Fuluko. If I had a born a day, if I had a copane born a day. singing for you. I know. You have to dance. Well, you don't expect me to dance like that. I am pregnant. I know. Don't dance the way you used to. Do, do something. Shake your body. I want to... In fact, I have... Well, you have to dance. Yes, you have to dance. How do you... Hola, amor. Hola, amor. All do money, my mama. Mm-hmm. Back in the back in the body. All I do money, my mama. Back in the back in the body. All I'm Hola, what is it? <laughs> Are you okay? Huh? Ah. What is it? <clears throat> what happened? Is it? Tell me. Is it? Oh, is it? I think you hit. Ah! Hola. 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 Please, no. Hola. Hey. One more. Hola. Oh, one Hola. Oh, oh, you're not stop! What is that? Hold on. Hey! Hey! Hold on. She was just dancing on. Next thing, she collapsed.
How do you feel? You feel okay. You okay? William, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. You don't have to thank me. You are the only one that can help yourself. I don't understand what you mean. You committed something terrible. A despicable sacrilege against the gods. Go and confess. If you do not, no evil will befall you. You are silent. What do you want me to say? In what possible way could I have offended the gods? I'm a peaceful person and you know it. I didn't do anything. You think I'm lying? I believe you. You're walking away. Well, like you and I visited a priest. Who told us that this is more spiritual than physical? Now Uyom the seer just repeated the same thing. Are you trying to tell me that this is just a coincidence? My love, have I ever lied to you before? You have to believe me. I don't know what they are talking about. It's me you have to believe, not them. I didn't do anything.
isu kwa to ndembo na ndege do ndembo na ndege do mwoni isu madonaro nena mwoni mi fenande ne meli felolwe Asana na bani bi don kori opon ku onu nemuru ya mo ri bi don se ko opon ku ri uchikere ya ri bi de se ku de no te ba ta ko ma ka ju ba ju ju ana ju onye wi a jo bi su ocho ma te be no zo a ju ba ju ju ana ju onye wi a jo bi su ocho ma te be no zo o de ni gugu It is obvious that the meeting with Anya Fulugod yielded nothing positive. Mbakwe, in as much as Anya Fulugod told me he is old, hasn't got the mantle anymore. <sighs> of course, he also told me that he has never seen this kind of situation before. I still urged Millie to go and see him. I was looking for a positive outcome. Mbakwe, from the look of things, Umumuako does not have a seer. Mili weighs as blind as a bat. It's you. From the look of things, it is uh, every man to himself. Yes. Everyone has to find ways of solving their own problems until this solution that we seek manifests. Otherwise, but sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I wonder why should Isukwato abandon us in a time like this? Get if I mellow. Huh? My brother, the ways of the gods are mysterious. Very, very mysterious. Mm. Gods of our land, have mercy on us and help us.
My love. What is bothering you? I have been thinking about all that is all that is going on lately. Opium. Whatever it is, I need you to confess. I will stand by you no matter what. Just, just say it. I've told you there is nothing to confess. You want me to believe you. What is this secret that is not just endangering your life, but that of our innocent unborn child? Isn't the life of this child enough reason to soften your heart? Isn't it? Oh, baby, you have to believe me. I'm as confused as you are. But there's nothing to confess. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Please. Please, I didn't do anything. You have to believe me. Your meaning does not make sense. <laughs> what you do I do this heartless. Listen to me. I am not going to watch you endanger the life of my child. Our child. <laughs> you have to believe me. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. You have to believe me. I didn't do nothing. I'm confused. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. You are the only man I know. I didn't do nothing. Then I have to believe me. <laughs> That is what William the Seer said. I came with her so that you find out the truth from her. Should anything happen to my unborn child on this account, Ichie, I will not take it lightly with her. Uh, my son, uh, just calm down. Calm down. Nothing is happening to anybody. Nothing will happen, okay? Uh, I have heard you. I will speak with her. I'm so bad, you. Thank you. <laughs> Only do, my daughter. Oh, mom, okay. Hmm? I will always tell you the truth. All accusing fingers are pointing at you. And you are saying you did not do it. You did not do it. Eh? I mean, we all know Iyum in this village and what she represents. My daughter, listen to me. There is no secret that is bigger than your life. Look at it now. It's not just a threat to you, but to your unborn child. Papa, I have not done anything. You have to believe me. I didn't do anything with anybody. I'm saying the truth. I didn't offend anybody. I didn't offend anything. <laughs> He's a nice holy man. I didn't do anything. You have to believe me. Why you have to believe me? Stop 
tell you miserable too. Come back here. Come back here. How dare you walk past me? Up now. Panaka Miligwe. The seer of Umumako. Without greeting me. Please, who are you? And who is the seer? Oh, Miriwe. That one that is as blind as a bat. Hmm? In case you haven't realized, both of you have lost your relevance, your power, dignity, and respect as the seer of Umuako. And as a matter of fact, both of you are as common as any villager. Keep waiting for who to respect you. But I can really wear my foot. So stop parading yourself and claiming what you're not. No, you are nothing. Rubbish. But I can really wear my foot. But I can really wear For my duty. Don't ask me that stupid question. Do not, because you know what I am talking about. You can't imagine the kind of insults some common village girls leveled on me today, all because of you. Girls that will never speak to me spoke to me because of you. Look, Emily I have done everything I can as a wife. If you cannot perform your duty as a man, then I'm sorry because I will not wallow in shame and misery with you. Now, you, you, you know I am doing my best. I, I am doing virtually everything I can to gain my powers back. You are not doing enough! What? Ah! Push the gods! Push them harder! Push them harder! Push, them harder. Ah. push the gods! Push them harder! Let them give you back your powers! I should push the gods? Yes! Push them! Now, twice I almost lost my life because I exceeded my limit. Miligwe, I don't care. I don't care. I have told you my own. I will not, I will never wallow in shame and misery with you. Rubbish. Abnau, Abnau. Not see. I cannot see anything. How do you mean you can't see? Your eyes are open. My eyes are open? Yes. As in, I cannot see anything, no. Mm? You can't be. Mm? You can't see me? Mm -mm. You, you mean you cannot see? No, I cannot see. Why? Yes, mm -hmm. I cannot see anything. Oh. Yes, 
You mean you can't? <laughs> Who is that? Eh? Uyum. Uyum. Thank the ghost you're here, Uyum. Please help my wife. Help my wife. He said she cannot see all of a sudden. I don't know what happened. Is there who is that? Uyum. Hmm? Uyum, this here. Uyum, please. Uyum. Just, just, just help my Uyum. wife. What? Is in the get up. Get up! Why are you complaining about the feast of the lizards? Mm. When you are the one that fetched the ant infested firewood? Mm. Of the lizard? Mm. I don't know. What are you doing? Oh, 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 please help me now. I don't understand. Maybe, maybe I've forgotten. Just help me remember. Please, please, please help I hate lies. Huh? How dare you lie to me? You want to deny sleeping with another man outside your marriage? Or the fact that your husband is not responsible for your unborn child? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That one is not true now. Yeah, that one is not true. Is it? Is it? Not, is it? Not, I do not sleep with anybody. Oh, yeah. How is... dare you? How dare you for me such sacrilege against the gods? Don't allow their wrath befall you. You see, I do not sleep with anybody now. Is it? Is it? Is it now? Is it? Is it now? Is it? Is it now? Is it now? Is it now? Is it now? You have to believe me now. Is it? I do not sleep with anybody. It's only you. Is it please? Is it? Is it not please? Is it not? I should not sleep with anybody else. It's only you. Don't you want me to believe? Is it not? You have to believe me, oh! It's me only. Is it not? I should not sleep with anybody. Is it not please? Is it not please? Is it not please? No. Is it not please? No. Is it not please? Is it that please? He's only you, I know. Stop! 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 Shut up! Shut your mouth! Shut your mouth! Is it that please? Is it? I've done everything! I've done everything! Is it that? Is it that? Are you this weekend? No, is it that? Is it that? No, we can't. Stop it! Stop it! The ghosts have finally exposed her. Exposed her? She's gone blind. <laughs> blind? <laughs> what? Are you If you like him? Hey! Ichi. Oledo has been sleeping with another man. Shush. <laughs> the pregnancy is not mine. It's not you. I thought I was the owner of the pregnancy. She has been sleeping around with another man who eventually got her pregnant. Hey, now that's not true now. Eh? You know what? I don't want the dowry again. Huh? Find out from her who the father of her child is. Hey! And as for this marriage, as for this marriage, uh. it is over. Uh -uh. Is it? It is over. Hello, uh, ma'am. Is it? Is it now? I I see my Alan. Alan. Hey, what? Where 
Please get me something to eat. There is no food in this house. What do you mean there is no food in this house? You heard me. But I saw some yams and cocoa yams in the kitchen. So? Wait, don't tell me you expect me to go to the kitchen and cook for you. As what? Your maid? Chai. <laughs> Apu now you have suffered. Apu now you are my wife. And cooking for me is part of your responsibilities as my wife. My servant who does the cooking is sick. And there is nothing wrong if you enter that kitchen and prepare me something to eat. When two women are in the house, why should one be forced to do all the housework? What are you talking about? Miligwe, are you not a woman? Are you not my fellow woman? Money you don't have. Heal low, you can't heal. You can't even heal your own servant. Not to talk of impregnating me. And you want me to go to the kitchen for you while you sit here and I will serve you as the man of the house. Nenogi. Hey! Hey! Mm -hmm. You didn't just make mockery of me. But you stand here and said I am not man enough. Are you man enough? Are you man enough? If you were man enough, you would have impregnated me. But you can't. If you are hungry, you enter the kitchen and cook your own food. Serious. Tell me you're not serious. No, you can't leave me. Abunamu, you can't leave me. I, I love you. Love, Ubukwagi. Love kill you there. Will love put food on my table? Will love feed me? See, let me tell you, if you don't do, you are cursed. And I cannot be a party to your cursed life. I am leaving this house. Abunamu. Hmm. Abunamu. Leave me alone. Abunamu. What is it? Abunamu, don't leave me. Abunamu, I love you. Do not forget when the going was good. Kudunya. Biko, don't leave me. I love you. If you leave me, I will die. You know what is annoying me? You are still talking about this useless, stupid love of yours. Mm. See, that was then. Oh. That was then. My name is Apunawu Obianujuaku. You don't expect me to stay here and suffer with you. I will not die of poverty and hunger when my father has food for me. See, I don't want to see your miserable life near my house. Leave me alone. Up now. 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 Up
You should have called me now. I was calling you. It's okay, just go. Mm -hmm. mm. Where is... Where is Papa? Oh, Papa went out. Uh, mm. Next time, just make sure you call me, I okay? was calling you now. Oh, I was busy at the backyard. Is there anything I can eat? Oh, yes, I will. Uh, yes, yes. Mm. Greetings to this household. Eh? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? My love, please. Come, hey! Come down. Up now, please. My love, please. I am begging you to come back home. You, you are everything I have. My life is meaningless and worthless without you. Please. I am working hard to get my powers back. I, I promise you, in no distant time, things will come back to normal or even better. Mwiliwe, leave my house. Leave my house. I want you not to come back here. I want you, but you don't want to listen, right? You are better off dead. If you don't know, you are better off dead. Leave, leave, this, leave this house. Yeah. 
It's better I die than live like this.
Olendo. Kekwa Stalin ke gbo abo. Ke Stalin ke gbo ni agbo mu nani. I cannot walk. You cannot do what? I cannot walk. E da gbo gbo. No, e da ja kite. Are you crippled now? Awo! I can never believe it. I don't know. What is this problem all about? Can I get more than you? What is this problem all about? Can I get more than you? What is this problem all about? Can I get more than you? What is this problem all about? Can I get more than you? What is this problem all about? Can I get more than you? What is this problem all about? Can I get more than you? What is this problem all about? Can I get more than you? What is this problem all about? Can I get more than you? What is this problem all about? Can I get more than you? What is this problem all about? ikemo <laughs> Olade chuo molede chuo molede chuo molede molede hi ni buli ni tawasi yangu lo na ni buli sioso lo ni tawasi yangu lo
The Great One. Oh, I'm so happy that you're here. Great One. Please, any way you can help us. You can see the situation is so critical. My daughter is crippled. Yes. And the dangerous thing about her case is that death hovering around her won't take her life until it has taken the life of those around her. Hey. Helping her. Mbalo. Mbakwe. This is not a fight of a father for a child. You and your son will both lose your lives if you continue helping her. Oyom. She is cursed! This is a dance of the spirits. Hello, the woman. You are blind. He will be easy. And now you're crippled. But you can hear very well. Are you not hearing? You can hear? Yes. Thank God. That means you heard her very well. The seer. About which seer? Why are you? 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 You had all that she said. My daughter. I am very, very sorry. I have helped you enough. There is nothing, absolutely nothing I can do again. You understand? You had her. I cannot take the chance of losing my entire lineage because of you. No, it's not possible. Huh? You, you, you can now understand that what you are suffering is what you incurred by yourself. It was what you did that this is the result and effect of what you did. Papa. Okay? Papa. So, all I'm saying is this. Hmm? Maybe it's your destiny. So, I am sorry. And uh, you have to understand. Eh? If I have a rock, I'm a long one. Oh? Bear your cross. I'm a long one. Pico. Pico. Long one. Let's go. Papa, who is going to live here? I can't take my Are you out of here? Come on, don't ask me stupid questions. Come on, let's go. Papa. Okay. He came. Papa. Papa. He came. 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 Papa. 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 Oh, yeah. So you are blind. Eh? I'm a, a person that is crippled and blind by Sikwato, the gods of justice, still claim to be innocent. Hmm. Oh. Oh, oh. She's crippled and blind. Yeah. Yeah. Only do. Papa. 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 You are you are crippled. And <laughs> she's also blind. Hey! I've seen what your first friend said. Oledo. Oledo. It came. Okay, what gone? I know that the gods of my fathers would not rest until my brother is avenged. This is just the tip of the big thing that will happen to you. Oh. Which I will shoot. Don't walk the woogie. He came to move. This is just. Little compared to what will happen to you. Evil. What are you two still doing here? I'm on shoot. I'm on shoot. Wait.
a truth. Both of you suffer from what you did to the gods of Isukwato, the god of justice and truth. That is what you are suffering from. My father has bluntly refused our union. He said even if I get pregnant for Ezenna, he will not approve of our marriage. Ezenna, on the other hand, has sworn to marry me against all odds. I love these two men. I don't want to lose any of them by obeying either of them. I just wish there is a way out of this whole situation. There is a way out. Serious. Now, please tell me if you know. You have to pretend to love Mili so he can present you to Anya Fulugo for approval. Then Anya Fulugo will commission him as the official mouthpiece of Umu Marco. I will talk to him so that he can convince your father that Ezena is the one for you as approved by the gods. Chimo! Abunamu! How can you suggest something like this? Abunamu, please. See, I did not hear what you just said. I didn't hear it. Just count me out. Count me out of this. Do you want to be with Eze now or not? You know I want to. But this your plan is too risky. It's too risky I, I mean, I'm, I'm scared. I can't do it. Let's, let's just wait. Why wait? Why wait when the man you love will be with another woman? You and I know your father will never approve of Ezena ordinarily. Everything you want is on the other side of fear. Sometimes you have to do what you have to do to get what you want. Okay. Should I talk to Ezena about it? No. What if he finds out? How will he find out if you don't tell him? Okay. I'll do it. Good. Very good. Up now. How can you suggest such a thing? That's a sacrilege. I just want us to be together. It's not like I'm desperate. But I know you have the power to do this. So why are you hesitating? Please. Do this for our love. Aponamu. Hmm? My love, let's not be too fast and spoil something. Listen, listen. Our purest intentions might boomerang into something catastrophic if we do not take it easy. I beg you. Please, let's look for another way to make the gods approve of our love, please. And how long do you think that will be? Not that long. 
this might take time. But eventually, the gods will approve our love. We don't have time. We don't. Tell me, how long has this come in the way of our love? So you can tell a little lie for us to be together? They have been spreading rumors, spreading lies that Isu Kwato, the god of justice, has rejected me as a wife for you. And here you are telling me to wait. In case you don't know, there are many men out there waiting for my response. But stop wasting our time. Up now. Up now. I love you with all my heart. And I want to marry you. Then do the needful. Because if I should walk out of this place, I will never come back again. No. I am not letting you go now. Show my life. Show my future. You're my everything. And my life worth nothing if living is without you. I would do it. Greetings. Greetings, Meligwe. You're welcome. Thank you. On the demands of the gods, I have chosen another maiden to marry. And here she is with me. Indeed, she is the chosen one. Omo Mwako approves, and the gods approves. Young woman, what is your name? My name is Olido. Olido. You look familiar. Have you been here before? Yes. Hmm. Your marriage shall be fruitful. And significant. I see. It shall be a lesson for this generation and generations to come. I see. Believe me. 
great one. You can see her off and come back. Thank you, great one. It seems you know Anna Fulungu before now. Yes. I had an issue and I went to see him. And he helped me out. Alright, you can go home. I will come to your house later to see your father and tell him that Ezena is the one chosen for you by the gods. Then you come back and see me later. Okay. Farewell. I thought you would not come. Who would reject an invitation by Mimi Gray, the most elegant of all men in Omomako? Thank you. Come with me. I am Milegwe, mouthpiece of the gods. And I am sure you are aware why I took the risk of lying. Promise me. Promise me that on no account should anyone hear of what happened. I promise I will reveal nothing to anyone about what happened between us. Your lips are sworn to silence forever. Farewell. Mercy on us of a truth. We have disobeyed you. We have desecrated our consecration. But please look on us with the eye of mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. You are wiser. You are wiser than us. Please have mercy. 
Mr. Kwato, have mercy on us. Mr. Kwato, God of justice, please have mercy. We don't know what we did. We are mortals who are just thinking in our own ways. Forgetting your ways are always the best ways. He's quite please have mercy. Please have mercy, he's quite Kwan okwa gonya lo mata na ka no di elebuya Anya fulu gonyozi Akwa bolo na me ya de la namba la mali Anya fulu gonyozi Ike Obike batano godo goda julo Ike pata Ike Anya fulu I'm not going to Oni je jebe 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 ne je na hai hai ba hai ba na wali pe bala muaga li hai ba hai ba pi ha lun. The gods are wise. Jebe. Onyi je. Jebe. 
Anya Fulu Gomoketete. Kule, Kule, Makano Dogua Mosog, Nedja, Ike, 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 Po, Nedja. 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 Jebe. Abolo na me ya di lamba la mandi onyambalo neje believe it is done. And I'm not going to tell the law. And I'm not going to tell the law. Millie, don't you ever touch her. Walk into your destiny. Me. It's you. Yes. You can walk. Yes. And you can see. I can see, Papa. Honey. Uh, what happened? You can. Enough for enough. What happened? Huh? Yeah. You can see. I can see. And that is the interpretation of the dream you came to tell me sometimes ago about two half moons coming together to form a sun, shining brighter and brighter. And remember, you told me that you had a similar dream. Yes, I did. That means both of you are destined to be together.
I knew it all this while. But I was waiting for instructions from the gods. Ezena. Ezena. You and Oledo love each other. But fate would not permit both of you to be man and wife. Only to pass through all these pains and sufferings because Miligwe presented her as a bride. Isiukwato, the god of justice, became angry because Miligwe is a husband and she is sleeping with another. Ezena, what happened to you would have happened to any other person. But the gods are wise. What do you have to say, my son? I cannot question the decision of the gods. Let their will be done. As in the dowry that you paid for all it shall be returned to you. Miligwe. You will collect the dowry that you paid for Abonam. Now, both of you, step forward and dip your right hands inside this water. It is a covenant that none of you will do evil to each other in future. Stand, my son. Your right hand. Join the hands together. What happened? Talk. Uh oh, you've not heard. Heard what? Ha! Mbano, you've not heard. Truly. Stand. All I do. After all her suffering. I don't understand. After all she went through. What happened? The baby is dead. Is that why your face is like this? Is that why you are screaming down everywhere? This is just little compared to what will happen to her later. Hi! Hey! Do you know that idiot, that witch, she has a hand in my brother's death? Uh, mm. Whoever in this village that is friends with Oledo is my enemy. Hey! But are you mad? You know what? You know what? You know what? This is your 
plan, no queer. So this is your plan. No wonder you were always coming here to look for my husband. You were a witch. Just because I said, let me go back to my father's house to give my husband time to get his power. That is why you have come to dominate my home and my husband. But let me tell you, your plan will not work because you are a witch and I'm here Shut to... Shut up! How dare you? Abunamu, how dare you walk into this compound and call my wife a witch? I will pretend I didn't hear you. But the next time, the next time you walk in here to abuse my wife, that day will be your very end. Miligwe, it is me. It is me, oh. Ab Hi! I know. She has blinded you. She is a witch. She has blinded you not to see me. But I am here. Ab it is me, Apna. Ah! Don't you dare come close to me, you manipulative evil woman! Don't dare. I warn you for the last time. Don't ever step your foot in this compound. Leave. Ask up now. Your panaka to, to leave. If I come back here, if I go in there, then come out to meet you here. I swear by Isi Kwato, you will regret your life. Hey! It is your plan! It is your plan! You are a witch! You are a witch! You! Oledo! It's obvious you haven't learned your lessons. You might think you're free, but let me tell you otherwise. Your womb has been cursed by Isukwato, the god of justice. You will bear no child till the day you die. Now leave before it costs you your life. You think you have won this battle? You think you have won this battle, but this is not the end of me. This is not the end of Apunau. I will be back. I will be back for you. What are you doing on the abode of the rejected one? Please, I, I, I have come to seek help. You came to seek help from the one rejected by the people of Umuumuako and labeled evil. I thought you people have Isuku Ato, your god of justice. Why then come to me? Great one. Isuku Ato has done great injustice to me. I know. I know your reason of being here even before your arrival. What will you give to me in exchange of my help for you? I will make sure you are brought back to Umumako to reign. Not just as a queen, but as a god. <laughs> Malthus with promises. Assisting you to achieve your aim is nothing to me. But make sure you keep your own side of the bargain. Because I will not take it lightly with you. I hate empty promises. Good one, I promise. 
I will not go back on my word. Please, just do everything you can. Come with me. I saw myself caught up in the middle of the calamity. I did not see the beginning and I could not see the end. Woman, what is wrong with your child? My son is running temperature and it's feeling cold. Don't worry. My wife will attend to me. Take him to my wife. Brutus. 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 Sweet. Yes, my lady. Give him this to drink. Immediately you get home, give it to him. Then give him at night. Thank you. Thank you.
Because I was certain the illness was not too fatal to kill him. I am as surprised as you are. But no one, no one can question the gods. I know no one can question the gods, but why does it have to happen like this? Strange, strange are the ways of the gods. A mortal's cannot transcend. Please, ease your heart. Ease your heart.
Eat him. Eat him. What is it? What is it? Stand up, stand up. What is it? Eat him. What is it? see anything. It seems as if there is a dark cloud covering my vision. This is a bad omen. A very bad sign. I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. We were at home. All of a sudden, he slumped. It must be an attack. It's an attack. But he'll be fine. I am sorry about your son's death. Thank you. Stop crying. Wipe your tears. What has happened has happened. I am so sorry about your son's death. How did it happen? My son fell sick. I took him to Miligwe, which he confirmed it was ordinary malaria and referred us to only the for medication. She gave us some herbs and I gave to my son immediately. He started checking and next he died. <laughs> that was how I went to save my son instead he lost him. It's obvious. She made a mistake in the medication she gave to your son. 
it's possible she must have conspired with her husband to kill him. Yes. Yes. I don't know. All I know is that only to give us some herbs to cure him instead he killed him. <laughs> that girl is evil. Your son is not the first. She has a hand in my brother's dead. Yes, that girl is evil. That girl is evil. <sighs> you have been silent since you came back. What is the problem? He is dead. Anya Fulugo has sojourned to the abode of our ancestors. Isukwato. Why have you decided to take him? At a time we need him the most. Why? Hi. Ubala na buke kwe na body ke abu anando abu ano. Ana fulu godi kana bogu na na gabo buda fude be o oku ga gabo buda fude be o manu ne ba ba re da ta na da nura fulu za bulu go anu alele alele manu nura fulu za bulu go anu ne ba ba re da ta na da. Because I'm How is your daughter? Hmm. I believe she will get better after taking the medicine given to her by all the Based on the revelation of the gods, she will die even before she finishes the medication. Huh? An abomination was committed against the gods in this land. The gods are angry. They have taken the life of Anya Fulugo, the originator of this abomination and they will continue taking more lives until this said abomination is undone. Uh, great one. Uh, what are you talking about? What abomination are you talking about? Ayan Fulugo lied against the cause, saying that Oledo is the right choice for Miliwe. Aponawo is the chosen one for Miliwe. He connived with Oledo to favor her. To stop this calamity, you must use your power to discontinue this union between Oledo and Miligwe. I have spoken as instructed by the gods. What kind of confusion is this? Huh? How do we carry a man with a broken waist? Give her a beaver. Hey! <laughs> Greetings unto this house. Greetings for you. The problem with your son is as a result of what your daughter did. 
she is responsible for what is about to claim the life of your son. How do you mean? She conspired with Anya Fulugo to deceive the gods and the people of Omomwako to make Miligwe her husband. But you said... I know what I said! She almost deceived the gods, but the gods are wise. Now Umumwako is in great calamity because of this sad abomination. The death of your son will only be the beginning. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. What can be done to stop this calamity? The false marriage built on the seat must be disbanded and the rightful person instated. The gods have spoken. Hey! Bah. What if they go to our house to find out more? I have, I have my eyes on them. I am monitoring every of their move. Before they take any step, I'm already ahead of them. Because I have manipulated their hearts to my side. I am the star, the moon and the light of this kingdom. I have everything here. I'm in control. <laughs> Not to worry, my dear. Hello. I'm on my way to your house. Same here. Huh? Yes. I'm going to my house. Huh? Uyom came to my house and she said so many things. She also met me on the way. And she said so many disturbing things to me. <sighs> Mbaku, what hmm. did she tell you? She said that my daughter, Ananya Fulugo, conspired to fool the girls and the people of Umumuaku. And she said that we must discontinue that marriage. If not, that my son will die and so many others which might include you and I. She also told me the same thing. She even said my daughter, even my own daughter will die. Hi. So what are we going to do? Can you hear me? Mbakwe, this is a very serious and disturbing situation. Hmm? In fact, I do not know where to begin. Do you know how to tell you the truth? I have never seen this kind of situation in my entire life. Huh? Hey. Huh? This marriage must be broken. I don't know about you. But as far as I'm concerned, it must be broken. Look, lives are involved now. Lives. What do you mean that all you do is not supposed to be my wife? And who said such nonsense? We um the great seer. And why is she speaking from the both sides of her mouth? Stranger the words of the gods. We may not understand it. But we are doing this 
for the benefit of the entire people of Ugo. To my detriment. To my own detriment. How can you believe that Anna Fulugo lied? Anna Fulugo of all people lied. A woman who has no plans of being with me from onset. Listen, I don't understand what both of you are talking about. And I do not wish to continue with this discussion anymore. Uh, you see, Miligwe, um, this issue is not uh, the type we flex muscle. It's not necessary. The goals are strange and wise. So I I I I suggest you go to her and hear from her and you know. I will do no such thing. If she knows what she is saying, let her come here and prove herself. Anyway. This matter involves lives. A whole lot of lives. As we speak now, a lot of people are at the point of death. Even the medications administered by your wife, the healer, has so far taken no positive effects. Please, let us trade with caution here. Caution. Oh no. Ichi with due respect, I am no longer comfortable with your visit here. And I advise you take your leave. You ask us to leave your shrine? Leave here before I lay an indelible curse on both of you! Leave! leave. Papa, I don't know what you're talking about. I did not conspire with anyone. You don't know what I am talking about. The exact word you used. The time you were accused of offending the gods. Until you were at the verge of death. Then you confessed. I can't trust you. But I tell you something. He came here for now your brother my only son is my hope the only hope i have for the continuation of my lineage and if anything happens to ikemefuna because of all the things you're doing i will kill you and i will kill miliwe and kill myself. I swear! By Isuguato, the gods. They said that the reason for my illness is because of what you committed against the gods. I don't know what to believe anymore. Because the gods are silent on me. Papa said that for me to leave that you have to quit your union with me for me to leave. He said that. Yes. But I don't believe anything they're saying. Because my hands are clean of these accusations. I've loved and supported you all my life. Please. I don't want to die. Please. 
do this for me. Ikin. There is no sacrifice too big for the people we love. Especially our own blood. Nothing is going to happen to you. You're going to be fine. Olam. On no account will I yield to their demand. No. Whoever that is instigating this will not achieve his or her mission. Gods of our land. Why have you chosen to always bring my path to crossroads? These trials and temptations, are they not too big for me? I was with Ezenna. You said Miliwe is the one for me. Now I am with Miliwe. You have suddenly changed your mind back to Ezenna. Are you punishing me for something I do not know? Do not be hard on yourself. Don't. For I know that something is wrong somewhere. Listen. Nothing on earth will make me leave you. We will stay together, fight this battle, and conquer together. I am afraid. I don't know what will happen next. Don't be afraid. Olam, do not be afraid. We will fight this battle and conquer together. You are my wife and nothing on earth will come between us. Nothing. Great one. There's a lot of confusion going on. I am saying this because I care. Yes, I, I had to let go because I believe I was doing the will of the gods. But what is going on now is not just torturing Miliwe and Olido, but myself too. Now I don't know if I did the wrong or right thing by leaving Olido. Please, great one, why have you let us out of the shed? only to abandon us at the mercy of the scorching sun. What exactly are you talking about? I do not understand. What don't you understand? Were you not the one who said that Oledo is no longer the will of the gods for Miliwe? Few months after you asked me to separate from her. I said no such thing. No and each year, but we confirmed it. That you personally said that calamity has befallen the land because of Miligwe's marriage to Olido. What are you saying? What are you talking about? I will 
was coming to your place. I know. I had to meet you halfway due to the urgency of the matter. Why are you putting my life in confusion? Put whatever arguments you have in your mind aside and do the biddings of the gods. What you told Well, that's what I said! Do what they have commanded. You think it's that easy? I did not come here for us to dialogue on this matter. Rather to warn you against the great disaster. If you don't do the biddings of the gods. Go! Go and do as they have commanded! What is going on? Words have reached me on certain stories I know nothing about. You mean you're not the one I saw a few minutes ago? That is not possible. I cannot tell you otherwise. After informing you that you both are united by the gods. Some dark forces are at play here. Someone is obviously manipulating her body with my apparition. Who could that be? Someone who is an enemy of the land. Daily the outcast. She has gained express permission into the land with the help of the bitter woman you married before. Apunau. Apunau. Miligwe, follow me. I am destroying your evil craft. You will do no such thing. You are a fool. You have succeeded in deceiving the people for too long. Not anymore. We am stay out of this matter. For I will not tolerate you if you stand my way. Go back, Jenny. Go back to the exile where you come from. You have no place here. Go back! <laughs> she started the war. The gods bear me witness. I want you to stay out of this matter, but you wouldn't listen. I am in Delhi. The indestructible! <laughs> yeah. I see the year they lure by my canoeing or by one name. Or the Bonya de Bunyana, and I saw never a cab on a day. I warn you. I warn you for the very last time. Get out of this kingdom. If you value your existence. Oh, <laughs> think I will advise you run away with your tail between your legs. You should be ashamed of yourself that a woman is defending you. <laughs> Coward. Cook on a good, get a good. On a drug, who got wounded. 
I won you. Ndeli. I won you. 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 I you. I won you. I won you. I if you value your existence. Papa! 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 Oh, I will go to no matter how long the night last, the day will come. Evil men may prevail in the days of evil. But when the reign of the right man come, the evil shall disappear. Isso quanto? Gods!
of my ancestors. As you have redeemed my powers and restored me from this pit of destruction, here I am to serve you for the rest of my life. Gods of my ancestors, here I am. Love sparkles and it blows 